Hello everybody and welcome back to Parasite Eve. Our last episode was kind of a long episode. We uh, <laughs> um, went back to the police station and uh, the, ch the police chief there was pretty much telling us that uh, the concert in the park that was originally scheduled was canceled. But people were still going and gathering to the amphitheater at the park. So, uh, Aya and Daniel were going to investigate, but Daniel's ex-wife and his son were at the park. So that's kind of what we're here for, is to kind of rescue Ben and Lorraine, if we can find them. But we found Eve. And... We're going to go have some words. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I don't think this is a ride I want to go on. But I have to. Okay. What's going to happen, I wonder? Okay. Whoa. What the holy crap? Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I am human. Why are you going with them and not me? What? Oh, I remember this. This is a really horrible fight. Critical hit damage, though. Holy crap. Oh, God. Okay. If I remember this right, there will be a little circle that will pop up where her attacks will land, and you just just have to be on like the opposite corner or something. Ow! 54 damage. That hurt. Okay. Uh, let's try barrier to absorb damage. Let's see if that even works. Okay. No, you can't hit me. And I'm afraid that she'll do like 50 damage, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. So that I don't die. <laughs> okay. I didn't get hit that time. That's good. Okay, barrier, I guess, made it to where I got dealt zero damage. Ah. Okay. Alright. We're good. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess, like with the worms, you want to only do one shot. Ow! 36 damage. That hurts. Still got you. Okay, okay. Our PE is not regenerating as fast as I would like. But it looks like we don't need it anymore. I hope. <laughs> you just have to survive. I think you have to do like 300 damage to her or something like that. It seems you still don't know who I am. Uh, no. How many monsters do you meet in your lifetime? <laughs> well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera.
What are you talking about? Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will... Stop! What could all that mean if they join forces, all the mitochondria would... Do something. Poor horse. I love horses. That's a really horrible way to die. Jeez. Another flashback. One thing you should probably... Whoa. What? Aya keeps switching whichever bed she's in. I don't know if that's significant to anything. But there are some flashbacks she's on the left side, some she's on the right side. So I don't know what that means. Aya! Aya! Answer me! Daddy! Okay, I guess Ben's okay. The whole time he was outside the freaking park. Weren't you going to the concert? I came here with mom, but she was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? I came with mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? Uh-oh. Don't tell me she turned into goo. I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. Okay. So from what it sounds like is Ben got out before everyone turned into goo, but Lorraine did not. So it looks like Lorraine died. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. Well, well what, can, what else can we do? We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. But what are you going to do when they come back to the city? What do we do? What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Aya? Everyone shakes their head, no. Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost the rain. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Okay, so they point blank tell you that Lorraine died. Okay. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight that thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will. Don't worry. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Where am I? <laughs> Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. <laughs> I like dogs. This is Shiva.
Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> that tickles. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they really did evacuate Manhattan. Wow. Huh. How many times do I gotta tell you? We blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. Japanese man, I told you I've already contacted the police about this matter. Technically he has. In the last episode, a Japanese scientist did call the uh, police department, but we don't know what about. Er, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. I'm not doing a Japanese accent. Sorry, guys. <laughs> or Chinese, or whatever. Hey, you Chinese? No, I'm Japanese. What? I can't read that. Oh, yes. Can you speak Japanese? Oh, gosh. I'm not even going to try. I'm sorry, guys. If y'all can read that, go ahead, but I can't. I am Kunaihiko Maeda, or Japanese. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Wow, what an asshole. I'm sorry. I hate people that are like that. Ugh. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. I'm, I'm, I'm getting... I'm hot. Help. Oh, no. They all burst into flames. Well, serves him right. He was a jerk. I guess, it's, well, even if you are a jerk, you don't deserve to die, but, yeah. I guess it's now or never. Make a break for it. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. Okay. So what's this? This looks like a locker room at a school or perhaps a hospital or something. I have no idea. Okay, maybe it was it looks like a hospital waiting room, so where Where am I? Seriously? Okay. Hospital. Okay, I was right. Did someone find me? Did Daniel find me? I mean, what's what's going on? No. Japanese scientist found me. Okay. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Oh, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunihiko Maeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Okay, so Daniel found me. Cool. Awesome. Daniel. There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Yeah, no joke. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? They're turning to goo, don't you remember? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, well... They just disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? 
they all melted into slime and became one big mass. Goo, slime, same thing. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. I, huh? <laughs> so, does this uh, Japanese scientist kind of have some knowledge of this sort of thing? Like, has this happened in other parts of the world? I, maybe. A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Okay, I guess so. Although, it wasn't as grandiose as in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. Yeah, I want details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Okay, Eve keeps popping up. First, Dr. Klomp gives us a little lesson about mitochondria Eve. And now, this comes up. A, 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 a Japanese scientist named these cells Eve. I think it's starting to all come together. Sort of. The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. What? After acquiring the scientist's sperm, ill, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went into his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, no joke. I wish I could explain more. Okay, based on what he just said. Apparently cells were implanted in a young girl. Now we're getting flashbacks of Aya as a young child. Is that leading to believe that Aya could have had these cells implanted in her? Or would Melissa, as a young child, had these cells implanted in her, and now she became Eve? I don't know, but this is really starting to make me think. This is so cool and interesting to me. Aya, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. I thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being. You felt like you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that's not affected. What? I... I don't understand. I think I may be a monster, like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Ah, uh, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Man, put yourself in Aya's shoes. I mean, you're going through this whole, like, thing. And you're pretty much questioning what, who or what you are because someone's telling you all this stuff, okay? And you're the only one who can't die from this person or from this parasite or this Eve or whatever 
and what she's doing. Of course you're going to think stuff like that. Please go away. Just, just stay away from me. Hey, uh... Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, what? Where do you think you're going? Away, like she asked. Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want you to kill. I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I could never forgive myself if I killed you. Aya, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Brea, and I'll be by your side always, Aya. Wow. Imagine having that internal struggle. When I touched Eve, that feeling. Was it Maya? Okay, we don't even know who Maya is, but that is very interesting. But Maya died in a car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. Huh. And that, folks, is where we're going to end this episode. Um, I hope that gave you a lot to think about. Because, holy crap, that gave me a lot to think about. Like, who could this Maya be? Apparently, it's Aya's long-lost dead sister. Uh, as far as we know, her mother died in a crash. And was never heard from again. But, it seems... We found out more information that makes the impossible possible, maybe. But we'll find out more in the next episode, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, please leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.